Oh my goodness, guess what we just found? Oh, oh my goodness, I can't wait. What is it? What is it? Leaving Bulgaria, we were off to meet my parents in Albania, but that meant we only had one week to get through southern Serbia and north Macedonia. We started off with a wander through Nisha's old fortresses and palaces, before cutting across the railway line and heading to the Tower of Skulls. What did you get, Nate? Or what did we get? No idea. It okay, like you buy it. tickets for the tower and they give you one of these included in the price. <laughs> so, Let's go, go inside and see. The Skull Tower is a four and a half meter tower that was originally built with 952 human skulls embedded in it. Favourite skull? That's your favourite skull, is it? This one here. Built in 1809 by the Ottomans after a Serbian uprising, it served as a warning to any other rebels. At one point, each of these indentations held a human skull. These days, there's only 58 skulls left. We then headed on to the Red Cross concentration camp just across town. Unfortunately, a lot of the history in Niche is quite brutal. Around 35,000 people were detained in this camp during the war, and around 10,000 of them were executed. Serbs, Jews and Romanians were all held here. Many of the prisoners were hostages from the local civilian population. The Germans killed 100 hostages for every German soldier killed, and 50 hostages for every wounded soldier. This is how they tried to keep the locals from rising up against them. Conditions in the camp were brutal, with the Germans going as far as putting barbed wire on the floor of the cells so that people couldn't even lie down to sleep. Nate, what does it feel like being here? Very sad. Very sad, yeah. After Niche, we needed a change of pace, so headed south into the hills. Hello. Are you all tired after you walk up the hill? Yeah. It's beautiful countryside spoilt only by the huge amount of fly tipping. Hi, we are the Nomadic Clementines and welcome to Serbia. Hmm. After our adventures in Serbia, we headed to the landlocked country of North Macedonia. Today, we are in Skopje in North Macedonia and we're about to go explore the city. So come on, let's go. We were really excited to explore North Macedonia and studying in Skopje was a perfect introduction. We headed into the city passing Skopje Fortress. But as always, we got a bit distracted. So as we've walked along the fortress walls, this door is open. So I'm going in. I'm going in. Our family does love a little bit of urban exploration. The tunnels ran in all directions and went quite far into the hillside. But having a quick look at these walls, they were not in good condition. So we didn't hang around. After a bit of urbex, we found ourselves in the Old Bazaar. This is one of the oldest and largest marketplaces in the Balkans. You can see the Ottoman influence here through the 30 mosques and many caravansary. If you're ever in Skopje, you shouldn't miss the opportunity to wander through the windy streets of the Old Bazaar. The shops were full of jewellery, ornaments and all kinds of objects. Ethan, how many jewellery stores so far? 45. 45. Yeah, yes. I'm just into really gaudy jewellery, so this is perfect. Exploring the windy streets, you'll find beautiful buildings like this Museum of Fine Arts. The old bazaar was really easy to walk around. We spent a good amount of time wandering around exploring, and the boys really enjoyed being in the shade of the stores. Plus, the food stalls just look so delicious. There's lots of murals and uh, statues here in town. Skopje is a relatively new capital city, with North Macedonia only becoming a country in 1991. In an effort to increase its standing as a capital city, the government actually decided to build statues, almost 300 of them. It was a controversial plan at the time, but it makes the capital and a really interesting place to explore. It is our mandatory snack and drink time, so that none of us get crab it and start getting annoyed and annoying other members of the family. Ah! If you like statues, then Sculpture is definitely the place that you need to come. More like Sculpture. They're everywhere. It looks really good. Oh my goodness, guess what we just found? Oh, oh my goodness, I can't wait. What is it? What is it? <gasps> it's an Ark of Triumph.
This one, no. Ethel, what do you think of your bread? Uh, very spicy but floury but hot and sweet. Hey, Nate, what do you think of your food? Very good. What is it? Uh, beans, sausage, bread. Macedonian menu. Wow. Hello. Hello. Mm. Meat. We have just had lunch in the old bazaar. Um, and it was really nice. I had chicken, cheese rolled in chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Traditional Macedonian dishes. Yeah, and we have just stopped at the gelateria and we're now heading back to the RV. Um. Hey, we're having a really nice time. And Nathan is being gross. What am I taking a video of? Him crunching in my ear, but it doesn't really bother me. So that's us heading back to the RV now. We've had an amazing day in Skopje. Yeah, it's been good. It's been a beautiful city. I hadn't really known what to expect, but it's uh, surpassed expectations. It's a really mm -hmm. nice city. And the weather's been amazing. Yeah, that always helps. But next we're off to uh, Orid. Yeah, Orid. Down to Lake Orid next, and we'll see what they have to offer down there. Before we got there though, we thought we'd let the 10 year old have a wee shot at driving. <laughs> <laughs> And don't run over Baba. <laughs> You're doing up. well. And <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more. You're doing well. You got your feet working. And stop, 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 stop. Yes! <laughs> you did it. For his first go, he did pretty well. After arriving in Orhid, we headed along the beach and over the hill towards the old town. We started out at the ancient Macedonian theatre of Warhead. The boys usually like to give us a performance at a theatre like this, but on this day they didn't really feel like it. I'm sure the local residents were pretty thankful for this. Next we headed down into the old town past the Church of St Sophia. This ancient church wasn't open, but we did have a look around the outside. The old town has beautiful meandering narrow streets, ancient buildings and many hidden charms. Travelling in the off-season meant we had the space to be able to explore the streets. If you get the chance, you should follow the boardwalk along the coast as well to get stunning views of Lake Orid. Orid is home to many churches, but the most impressive is the Church of St John the Theologian. We got a chance to see it before heading back to the RV for the day. Our last stop in North Macedonia was the Bay of Bones. This museum is based in a reconstructed village of stilt houses out on the lake. It's also home to a very cute puppy. The museum is a representation of a village that existed 3,000 years ago. The village covered over 8,000 square metres, and its position meant that it was easily defendable. Uh, you right there enjoying the, um, the bed of hay? Yeah. Nice comfy beds to lay on. Oh, poor little abandoned children just living wild in a mud hut. I don't care, as long as I get to lie on this. The boys had a great day here, particularly Nathan who enjoyed sleeping on every bundle of hay going. Taking the boys to places like this really helps expand their experience of other cultures. What do you want to do, Eto? I want to sit here instead of arguing. Do you? Yeah, okay. if there's monsters, then... So, okay, uh, if there's monsters, then... Maybe stay in army. Okay, there might be monsters, I don't know. I don't know. Stay. You want to stay here? Whatever, yeah, okay. We really love Serbia and North Macedonia. We wish we had had more time to explore them, but we had a deadline to meet a flight in Albania in just a day or two. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.